Hello everyone, this is Vaseem from Edureka and I welcome you all to this session which is the module 9 of the Python series. And if you haven't already seen the previous uh, sessions of this series, I recommend you to do that. And uh, before moving on with the session, let me just get a quick confirmation if you guys can hear me or not. So if I'm audible to you guys, please type yes in the chat box. And now that I'm getting a lot of confirmation, let's move ahead. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to Edureka for more exciting tutorials and press the bell icon to get the latest updates on Edureka. So in this session, we're going to be talking about file handling in Python. So we're going to be talking about the various operations that we have in file handling. So we're going to be, you know, opening a file from our desktop using the OS module in Python. And then we are going to uh, write into a file and then we're going to see uh, what are all the operations that we uh, need to perform in order to read from a file and how many ways we can read from a file and how to create a new file using Python and how we can just delete a file using Python. All those operations we're going to perform in this session. But before that, let me just quickly uh, talk about the importance of file handling in Python. I mean, there must be a question around you, all of you guys. You must be wondering why, why there is so much buzz and uh, why there is so much stress on this very simple thing, which is file handling in Python. Well, for that, let's just try to understand this with an example. Suppose you want your Python script to fetch data from the Internet and then process that data that you have just gathered. Now, if that data is small, then this processing can be done every time you run the script. But in case of humongous data, repetitive processing cannot be performed. Hence, the processed data needs to be stored somewhere. So this is where a data storage or writing to a file actually comes into the picture. And one thing to note while uh, writing data to a file is that it's consistency and integrity should be maintained. And once you have stored your data on a file, now the most important thing is how you're going to retrieve that data because retrieval is the most important thing. And uh, in computer, it's stored as bits of ones and zeros. And if the retrieval is not done properly, then it becomes completely useless and the data is said to be corrupted. Hence, writing as well as reading is important aspect of file handling in Python guys. I'll just take you to the Jupyter Notebook guys and we're going to resume from there. The very first thing that you want to do here is you want to open a file. I'll just import OS. And after that, I want to open a file. Now to open a file, I'll take one variable, let's say file. And to open it, I'll use the open method. Now inside this, there are going to be two parameters. The first parameter will be the file location. And the second will be the task that you want to perform. Since we're going to open a file and try to read what is written in the file, we are going to write it as R. So if I want to write something or overwrite into a file, I'll write it as W. If I want to append something, I'll write it as A. If I want to create a file, I write it as X. And after that, there has to be a text or a binary number or the format. It will be text or binary. So by default, it will be text, but we can just write it as RT as well. So we want to read into the text format. And as far as the file location is concerned, let me just uh, go to a location. So this is the location that we have inside this. We have a file named series. So let me just copy the file location first. And after that, I'll just write series.txt. All right. So now to check this file, let's just write a few things into this. So this is a demo file. And this is just a document for our testing purpose so that we are able to understand how we save it all right so now we go back to our uh, program here now after this what i want to do is i will read from it and as soon as i read from it i will have to close the file as well 
So let's just read first. So I'm able to read it. So there are two ways. So right now we have learned how we can read from a file, right? So I'll just close this for now. Okay. So now what I'll do is I will check how many ways we can read from a file. So we'll take one more variable, let's say file one. Now for this, we will open it again. Since we just want to read it, the task will be the same. And we will, instead of read, we'll write it as a read line. So let's see what the output is now. Okay, so we have written it as file. Operation is closed. Now this is a demo file and this is the purpose of our testing purpose. Is that it? Is that all that was there inside their document? All right, so it's just showing us one line. If I write it as a read lines, it will show us the whole document or all the lines that are there inside the document. So that is how you do it. Or we can just write it as a read and provide some value for the, or we can write as let's say 20. So it's gonna fetch us all the bytes of data that is there. So let's for 25, it's gonna bring out all those things. So that is how you read from a file guys. And we'll close this operation as well. Now what I want to do is I want to write into a file guys. So to do that, we'll uh, make file. Okay, so we'll write it as write into a file. Now to do that, I will make one more variable. Let's say file two, All right? I'll copy this. Now instead of WRT, I'll write WT because I want to write into the file. So I'll write file two dot write and whatever I want to write over here, it's going to overwrite the content in the current file. So let's say I have overwritten your document. Ha ha ha. And after this, let's just check. There's no error and we will close this operation as well. Now we'll go to the file and let's see what is there. So I have overwritten your document. Ha ha ha. So we have overwritten the document using this uh, particular file over here. Now there's one more function we have with uh, this W task over here. So I'll just show you how, how it is done. So if we uh, actually do not have a file name that does not exist inside there, it's going to create a file there. And let's just write something. I think it worked and we will close it. So let's see if we are getting any errors. All right, so we have created a new text document and we have also written in. So using this uh, write or the task over here, we have actually created a new file. And we have successfully closed that also. Now, this is not the exact way to create a file in uh, file handling when we are working in Python. There is, of course, one more thing that we can do, which is using. Right before that, I'm going to talk about the append function that we have. For the append operation, I'll just write A over here and I'll just write file 3 or file 4 dot write i hope it does not overwrite every thing let's see if it works no errors so we'll go check the new dot txt and i hope it does not overwrite everything so it has worked so when you use this append operation it actually appends the value whatever you are writing inside your document instead of overwriting the whole document All right so let's try to check if any of our file or the variables are still operational so all of those are on a closed file now what we'll do is so now we'll create a new file using the x operation so for that i'll write file Five is equal to copy this instead of new I will write as a 
and here we'll write as x and file 5 dot write we'll write something this is also a new file and file 5 dot close so let's go see the demo here we have a brand new file which says this is also a new file so this, this is how easily you can just work with file operations or file handling operations in python guys so now we have actually uh, done all these operations so we have opened a file we have closed it and uh, we have closed all the operations so now what i want to do is i want to delete some files guys or remove some files we might face a few errors here and there so just uh, take a look at all those so i'll import os and using os dot remove i will delete this file let's see if it works we might face errors here so let's go check the folder again so the file is actually missing here so we have successfully removed that file from over there there is one more uh, approach to this you can actually check if the path exists so that you'll know that file is actually there or not and then after that if you're sure it will remove it so for that you can just use fos dot path dot exists the path is this we will remove it okay so we're gonna have to provide the same uh, path here else it will show us that file is missing already or a default message any message that you want so when i run this okay the file is missing already because we already have deleted that file so instead of brand new dot text you will remove new dot text right it's showing that file not found okay so so now it should work and all right so we have deleted all these files now let's say i want to delete the last file as well which is in our folder over there so instead of new.txt it will be series.txt series.txt so when i check my folder now the folder is empty guys and now i'll just tell you how you can uh, delete a folder as well so i'll just close this folder and uh, now to remove the whole folder what we have to do is uh, we will have to take a look at this function remove directory and we provide this path over here and be very careful when you're using this because uh, there are chances that you might uh, remove something that uh, you don't want to remove and uh, there's a bright side to this which is only you can remove the empty folders otherwise you will find an error so when i check this uh, location now No results found for this uh, location guys so that is how you do file handling in python guys so i've shown you how we can create a file and do all these operations on a file now that we have come to the end of this session i want to give you an exercise for this session as well so for this session i want you to do something which is uh, basically you know you have to write a program where you will have two or three functions where you will have a return value in which you have to create a file using the file handling methods and then store those output that whatever you are getting inside a file and that is going to be the exercise for this session guys and in the next session i'm going to work on a few programs which will be the culmination or the collection of all the learning that we have done so far so we're going to be using classes objects we're going to be using uh, the if statements the conditional statements the loops that we have learned so far and we are going to make a bunch of programs that will uh, be very cool to learn as a beginner and it will help you a lot into you know trying to brush up your skills on uh, the basics of python programming language so if you're new here don't forget to subscribe to edureka for more exciting tutorials and uh, press the bell icon to get the latest updates on edureka also check out edureka's python programming certification program the link is given in the description box below Thank you and see you guys in the next session.